In this part of 8.2 day one, we're going to talk about the different parts of rational functions, about how to find the domain, vertical asymptotes, horizontal asymptotes, and holes. Here's an example of a rational functions graph. Now it has different parts. Our vertical asymptotes, well here this one has one, this is our vertical asymptote. Our horizontal asymptotes, this one also has one horizontal asymptote right along here. Now asymptotes are basically invisible fences in a way, where your graph cannot cross. It'll get really, really close, so this graph here will get really, really, really close to the asymptote, but it'll never touch it, it'll never cross it, kind of like an invisible dog fence. Your dog can get really close, but it won't cross it. Same with it going up here, it'll keep going up and up and up, getting closer and closer, but never cross the asymptote. Holes in the graph, this one does not have any holes, but if it were to have a hole, you'd have something like this, just an open circle on the graph. It would be a hole at x equals 5 in that case. To start graphing, we need to find the domain of the function. The domain is basically a list of the possible values of x. Here we have a graph of a parabola. We've seen these before. We've talked about the domain before. Our parabolas will go on forever and ever and ever in the direction the arrows are pointing. So it's going up and to the left, up and to the right. So we're going to continue going to the left and continue going to the right. That means that our x values are going to be all real numbers. So our domain is all real numbers. For rational functions, we are going to have all real numbers, but we're going to exclude some values as well. Now when we want to find the domain, we basically just look at our denominator. Domain, denominator, domain, denominator, denominator, domain. Goes together. Well with this one, I'm looking at the x minus 9. That's in my denominator. Well, I need to think, what would make my denominator equal 0? Because what can I not divide by? I can't divide by 0. So I want to make sure that we don't plug in a number that's going to allow us to divide by 0 because it will be undefined. So what would I plug in for x to make this denominator 0? If you're thinking 9, you're absolutely right. So if I had 9 minus 9, that equals 0. And I can't divide by 0. So my domain is all real numbers except for x cannot equal 9. The next part we have to identify will be our vertical asymptotes, holes, which you can find by doing cancellations in both the numerator and denominator, and horizontal asymptotes, in which there are three cases which we'll talk about right now. In this case, the degree in the numerator is smaller than the degree in the denominator. Notice how I have a degree of 1 up here, x to the first, and here I have x squared. Well, it's since the degree in the numerator is smaller than the degree in the denominator, y equals 0 is my horizontal asymptote. In case number 2, the degrees in the numerator and denominator are the same. Here we have x squared and x squared. When this is the case, we look at our coefficients, our leading coefficients in front of those highest degree terms. And we have a ratio, so we get y equals 5 over 2. And our last one is when we have a degree in the numerator that is larger than the degree in the denominator. I have x cubed in the numerator and x squared in the denominator for my highest degrees. Well, the degree in the numerator is larger, therefore there's going to be no horizontal asymptote. Now to see how these are all used, you can take a look at the next video.